All right, hey folks, um, I am gonna continue to the second pass here. I'm going to make my brush a little bit thinner so I can focus a little bit more on um, kind of getting in there and uh, working on accuracy. Um, and I did remember that in one of my previous videos, I was talking about the concept of beauty um, as defined by Thomas Aquinas. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna focus on, again, a few things that I've been just trying to focus on as, uh, as an artist. So reducing the amount of times I press undo um, line confidence, pre-visualization, um, and using the erase tool instead of undo. So like right now, I'm just going to erase it. And I'm going to not worry too much about lines that might look a little off. I'm just going to trust it. And work with it. So, um, what I was talking about with beauty before was the three properties of it, as defined by St. Thomas Aquinas. Uh, I looked up the Latin words just now. It's, um, so the three are uh, harmony or consonancia, I think is the word. Um, and then unity or wholeness, which is integritas. And then there is uh, splendor or radiance, which is um, claritas. So it's nice to know the Latin words because I know there's never really going to be a direct translation for some of these Latin words. So I, 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 I do have the English translations of them. But I'm going to try to keep those in mind. Consonancia, integritas, and claritas. Meaning harmony, unity, and splendor. Now... Um, I'm going to try to make, you know, these commission works beautiful, obviously, for the people who are requesting them. Um, I'm, uh, otherwise, why would they be requesting art for me in the first place? It's because they thought my art before had some aspect of beauty to it. Um, maybe because I, as an artist, might have maybe a stronger sense of anatomy, stronger um, experience, um, you know, uh, nicer strokes, you know, better um, color than some other artists... Uh, the fact is they chose me and I have a responsibility to take care of their characters and make this art worthwhile for them. Um, and I don't want to just think of it as like, okay, this is my business. I need to do well so I can make more money. That's not the point because otherwise, um, if I was just focused on money only, I would have chosen another line of work. Now, I mean, regrettably, I mean, there is a part of me that uh, obviously um, I am going back to school to become an accountant. Um, you know, for stability and money's sake and for, for responsibility and family. But but um, I chose to be an artist from the get-go because that was what I liked doing as a kid and I felt I could be great at it um, because I enjoyed it. And so I did choose it at first as a career path. When I was coming out of high school, um, you know, 17, 18 years old, um, I was like, okay, I want to do art for the rest of my life as a career. Um Hadn't worked, didn't work out so great, um, not because I wasn't good at art, but because I didn't know what I was doing with my life, and I uh, fell into a life of, uh, what What was the, the prodigal son? A life of dissipation is the word. I mean, I, 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 will, I, I, I admit that, and I'll always admit that. Um, but now, you know, here I am drawing a female anime, anime character but again this is for work and this is for someone who trust entrusted me with his character um and they uh you know I, I want this to be done beautifully for them so with that in mind we are going to try to again pre-visualize i know i'm un doing undoing a lot but trying to get the angle of these eyes right, angle of the face right. Now the eyes, got a couple eyelashes there. And I do have the references on the top layer here, so I'm going to just pull that up from time to time. Because the eyes here, um, looks like there's an eyelash going towards the center and then an eyelash going out. And they have those uh, lizard-like um, slit eye uh, pupils. So I'll keep that in mind as I... Uh, bring all the shapes in. Oh, and I forgot uh, the uh, sort of elf ears going on there. Um, so let's keep all that in mind as we draw. So elf ears. Let's kind of bring that out. Um, yeah. 
And then we're doing kind of a straight face here. I don't want it to look totally expressionless. All these, but all these references though, and then the character here has a serious face. But I mean, she is in the on the beach, probably enjoying a nice ocean breeze. So we, we might get like a little bit of a smirk in there. Like a flat smirk. Something like that. I mentioned in a previous video that I don't really do the uh, um, very detailed anime eyes a whole lot, but for this piece, we will need to do that because we're staying faithful to the VTuber's character design. Bring the eyebrows down a little bit, and it might bring the eyes up a little bit too. Eyes might be a little bit too small here. This is uh, anime character, so we can make the eyes a little bit bigger, actually. Or you know what? I think the perspective is a little off. I'm going to try again with the eyes here. Yeah, make, I think we need the eyes to be bigger. Bring the face out a little bit. been a while something like that I think I there we go I think that works I think that's nice there we go that took a lot but that kind of worked and then we're gonna eyelash here eyelash there eyelash here eyelash there is that right yeah Wait, this one come closer, bring it that way. Like that. Here, there, here, there, and then out right there. So some cute eyelashes here. Slightly closed eyelids. Does she have any kind of like eyeshadow? No, just thick just thick eyebrows. Let's see here. Or not thick eyebrows, thick eyelashes. Yeah, a little bit of eyelid there. Okay. So, again, back to beauty. Integritas, consonancia, claritas. I guess it's just something I want to reflect on as I'm doing this. So harmony, what does that mean for this piece? It means all the pieces come together. Um, so that, that would be like rules of comp composition and balance, um, color choice, uh, character design, background, like everything sort of working together to create integritas, which is unity and wholeness, that it's all one art piece, one character in one place, in one space at one time. And that's what's going to create beauty. And then when it all comes together, you feel it and you say, hey, look at that. That's, I feel that, you know, and that, that, that's kind of what, that's, sub, that's subjective reception of it, um, of the splendor kind of confirms the beauty. And um, I know that the whole debate is like beauty is in the eye of beholder. Um, is beauty just a... Uh, something that we humans um, just feel only or is it something that's uh, objectively real I know that's an age-old question but Thomas Aquinas teaching says that you know it is a real thing it comes from God and um, You know, it's, I mean, as an artist, it's something I, you know, I used to, like, really think about, like, what makes something beautiful? What makes something appealing? 
And as an artist, I'm trying to hone those properties and put them into the work. So with this piece, um, I'm going to try to... I think the way this method is working, even with just the um, Opus Color Brush, I think the line art is looking pretty nice. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have to move beyond the second pass or if I can just clean up the second pass because it's looking pretty nice. I think it's because I'm zoomed in. And with, with an anime character with this type of specific style, it's not really in my style, my normal style, with like the way I do black inking. But... I don't know, I might I might convert it to that at the end. I like how this is turning out right now. But um I'm not sure yet, you know. Art evolves as you go. So we're gonna have a little bit of a collarbone right there. A little bit of a collarbone right here. Okay. Anatomy, anatomy. So I know there's like a a weight like here there's a curve around the underarm. And then I know, like, somewhere around here, like, sometimes you'll see, like, the a fold or a plane change where the, kind of, the bicep is. I mean, I don't need to include that. It's just, I know it's there. I don't want this to look like a muscular deltoid. But the deltoid is flexed when the arm is, was, is coming up like this. Let's taper in. Point the pointed elbow here. And then bring the arm up. Slender arm. Taper out. Forearm muscle. Kind of connect to the elbow here. Okay. Bring a little bit less detail to the elbow there. Might make it a little bit more pointy. Bring the arm down now. Um, bring the tank top out a little bit more this way. Okay. shirt will there be any kind of folds going on probably and there's squash and stretch there's a little bit of compression this here and a, just a tiny bit of stretch there so just very slightly how short is the tank top here and where which way is it curving we're going to get a little bit of sea breeze coming from the right. So is there, it doesn't have any looseness or is it tight enough that there will be no wind affecting it? I kind of want to see a little bit of looseness, 
just so that we can see, like, we can incorporate the sea breeze. Because the whole thing about this piece that it seems to me is that, is that there's a sea breeze. And if we, if we take that into account, I think that might bring some integritas to this piece, some unity and wholeness to this piece, if the whole thing is expressing a little bit of sea breeze. We can even have some palm trees in the background that show that it's there. So I think that would be a good idea. And how much would it affect the shirt, really? Maybe just a little bit. And then here. Hips out. And then shorts. How short are we making them? Uh, I mean, a lot of these have a lot of midriff, but some of these just have a little bit of midriff. So I will just keep it to a little bit of midriff. And where's the belly button? Is it going to be visible there? I don't think so. Yeah, kind of like this. Not too much. Hips. And then here. Um, the shorts are going to be following the angle curvature of the thigh here. Not too much because the thigh is like just coming forward a little bit. So I don't want to exaggerate that curve too much. But we do want to show that it's there. Just some basic um, cylinder construction here. And do we want them to be longer? Now, these are very short shorts. This is weird uh, skirt jean short. This is short shorts. That's really short shorts. I guess short shorts is the way to go here on the beach. Um, we can even, I guess, bring this up a little bit. Okay. Legs. Okay. Yeah, I mean this character yeah, slender legs. This should would come up more. Stomach center line is like more right here, I think. Yeah, so it kind of come center line on the shorts would kind of come this way with the button. I mean, belt loops. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, belt loops. Something like that. Maybe come down too far though. We'll make this a little bit smaller, a little bit more understated. Thinner as well. Yeah, belt loops. Button. Okay. How's this looking? Too much angle on the on the sh uh, this part of the shorts here. Just keep it a little bit more subtle. We might even just flatten it. No, not flatten. What's the right angle here? 
Might have to come up a little bit higher. I think that's a little bit better. We're, we're just going to keep repeating the concept. Integritas, unity, wholeness, consonancia, harmony, and then claritas, splendor or radiance. Okay. This, um, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll move back to upper body a little bit here. Ridge muscle here. Bicep would come in this way. So actually, yeah. We're gonna take our sweet time here. Make sure this is make sure this is good for the requester. Okay, I think this looks pretty good so far. Pretty good start on the second pass. Yeah, I think the second pass looks really nice. Um, anything off? I mean, I feel like we could expose a little bit more midriff on the tank top, but I don't really want to go too far there. Um, I think this is this is quite good. Uh, we'll just keep going. Kind of on a roll here. I wouldn't say I'm in the flow state right, right now because I need to be challenging myself a bit more. Especially with the undos. I, was, I think I was doing better at first at the start of this video. But um, as I, I kind of lost that flow as I went on. So I'm just going to try again. More pre-visualization. I know that um, it's very hard to make naturally pleasing hand pose. Like the ancient masters are so good at this. Um, they're one of my favorite Catholic paintings, Mary and the Angels. Um, the hand pose is very aesthetically pleasing for Mary on that one. Um, I think that she's holding the child Jesus there, but a uh, really excellent piece of art. It's one of my favorite uh, of Catholic works of all time. Very magnanimous on that. Uh, on that painting. So that's the kind of art I want to do in my life. So the hand is a little bit big here. We're going to downsize it a little bit. Change the angle maybe. There we go. I think that's better. And back of the hand is probably going to come more this way. Okay, so we're gonna do leg. Try to get all the lines right. Okay, curves in that way. Um, considering the angle of the leg, this part uh, might have tapered in too much. Kind of think like that. And I think this, I forgot the name of this muscle, the adductor, probably starts a little bit higher there. 
so the shorts might curve around a little bit more. I don't really know, guys. Okay. And then... How are we doing the legs here? Yep. Just like that. Too much calf on this side. There. That's almost there. This, um, it was exaggerated a little bit too much this side it does curve in but more subtly I think yeah more subtly like that more subtly I think this is still too much Okay, so we're gonna start on the other leg. Bring it in here. I think for the legs, the brush might be too thin, to be honest. I think a thicker brush might help me for now. Where's the knee? Somewhere like right there. Probably not gonna include it in the line art. But we'll put it in our sketch. Especially as we color. Too much calf. How's this looking? I think that's good. I think this is very good. Very good. I'm trusting the sketch. It's kind of coming together. Yeah, I think it's, I think this is good. All right. So let's not shy away from hands and feet. Again. Consonancia. Just making sure every single piece has the same level of like, you know, and that everything is just balanced, and that all the elements fit together. In integritas, unity, wholeness. You know, just making all these decisions compositionally to serve the singular purpose of the requester looking at this and be like, oh, that's nice. Or even just anyone looking at this and be like, oh, that's that's good, that's good art. Um, that that all comes together, that that feels, like they, they, I'm starting to see the sort of the link between all three of the words because consonancia, harmony, serves unity. Because the only reason they would be harmon harmonious is because they fit together. And then once they fit together, the only way that you kind of see that they fit together is the claritas, which is the radiance and the splendor. It's like, oh, they fit together. I can see that they fit together and I react. My sense that they do fit together is, is the sense of claritas. So I can kind of, I can, the more I like, again, just repeating and reflecting on those, on those Latin words, it's starting to make sense. Okay. 
I think this is pretty good. Um, I think I need a break. Uh, I'll kind of stop here and uh, um, keep going for the next recording. I'll talk to y'all later. God bless. Bye-bye.